a very, very funny comedian. His debut stand-up comedy special, Give Him Hell, Kid, comes out soon. Please welcome Jermaine Fowler, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Um, thank y'all. Uh, I was uh, the first person to go to college in my family, uh, and I dropped out. Uh, but the only reason I went was to prove to my family, yeah, we can go to college, we can do this, all right? We're not losers, right? And after two weeks, I was like, I think I proved my point, right? <laughs> It, it, wasn't, it wasn't for me. Uh, I was raised by very, very young parents. Uh, my mom was uh, 16 when she had me, and my dad was 17. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, the th well, society, they look down on like teenage moms and dads, but I think those people are just jealous because they'll never know how fun it is to be raised by somebody who's still being raised. <laughs> they'll never know, they'll never know. I used to go to my mom sometimes like, mommy, I I'm hungry. And she'd be like, you hungry, baby? Hold on. Ma! We hungry! It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good. <laughs> they made a lot of sacrifices for me because uh, they were so young. And my dad reminded me every day about them. Uh, I remember I had a math quiz coming up for school. I was like, Dad, can you help me out with math? And he goes, no. Can't help you, Jermaine, with your math. You wanna know why? Because I dropped out of school to raise you. <laughs> dropped out of school to raise you. So I don't know math. I'm sorry, Dad, I apologize, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. You ain't sorry. I got a math quiz for you. How many babies does it take to rule somebody's life? How many babies, Jermaine? <laughs> One? That's right, one! One baby! Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. Uh, my little brother, Jamal, had a baby not too long ago. Uh, I'm an uncle, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. And uh, I, honestly, I was very skeptical about Jamal being a dad. Because, uh, you know, when I, when I was a kid, Jamal used to be in special education, right? Yeah, like, well, the whole family thought Jamal was mentally challenged because he would say words like spaghetti, like, Bugubby? And that's not a word. And my mom was alarmed. My mom was like, oh my God, um, okay. Uh, Jamal, I'm sorry, but I gotta enroll you in special ed at the school. I gotta put you in special needs classes at, this, at the school. I'm sorry. And Jamal hated being in special ed. He said, but I'm, I'm not special. I'm like you, I'm, I'm not special. My mom was like, baby, you, you are special, I'm sorry. And, and don't feel bad, don't do that, because uh, this is when everything changed for Jamal. Uh, so one morning, my mom took Jamal to the dentist, right? Normal checkup. And after the checkup, the dentist tells my mom, hey, uh, Mrs. Fowler, is that, is that you? Great, uh, the checkup's over. Can you, can you come back here, please? Awesome. All right. All right, so uh, it seems your son Jamal here has a few cavities in his teeth, which is normal, very normal. But more importantly, did you know that Jamal has an enlarged tongue? <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? Okay, I'll back up, I'll back up. Okay, so uh, it, it seems your son Jamal has a few cavities in his teeth, but he has a tongue that's enlarged and it's, it's bigger than normal. Uh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Because apparently Jamal was not mentally challenged, he just talked funny, that's all it was. So Jamal came back home from surgery like, I told you bastards, I wasn't special! <laughs> You don't listen. I want spaghetti right now. We are so upset. I gotta go. Y'all been amazing. Thank y'all so much. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.